So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and preheat your pan. It's on a high heat. Then you're going to take your avocado or coconut oil, depending on what you have, and just layer it on that pan. You just want kind of a thin coating. You don't want too much, but you want a significant amount. So we're just gonna let that oil heat up. So while that's heating, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I did with my Brussels sprouts. So if you can kind of see here, I split them in half and I also long ways split them in half as well, but I didn't go all the way down to the base. So this will just help the oil really get in there and kind of give it that crispy kind of texture. So it's probably heated up now. I'm going to use tongs for this because I hate burning myself with the oil. It scares me to death and it kind of pops. So I'm just gonna place these on here. Ah, see, it pops. <laughs> so I've gone ahead and turned it down to a low heat because I don't love all of that oil popping all over the place. I burnt myself really badly when I was younger. So I'm a little scared of it now. So we're just placing these face down. We want them to get nice and crispy, nice and brown. Not burnt, but brown on the bottoms. Okay, I've gotten myself a shield. <laughs> this is next level, I know, but I'm terrified of the popping oil. Okay. Ah! All right, now that we have them there, I'm just going to drizzle a little bit more oil on top. And we're just gonna let those cook. We're gonna let them cook for a little bit. This might take about five minutes or so. Check the bottoms. You don't want them to be burnt, but you'll see they're kind of a dark brown color. That's good, but you don't want them to be like black because they're charcoal burnt. <laughs> so careful of that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure they're done. They've got a nice kind of brownie color to them. They smell really good and the tops are a really nice, vibrant green color. So now what I'm gonna do is just kind of mess them up a bit. All right, now we're just going to let those sit for a little bit. We're gonna really crisp up those outsides and then we're gonna toss them up again. Don't worry about trying to keep the Brussels sprouts completely intact. Those little leaves that fall off crisp up really nicely and end up making a really nice addition to this dish. So don't be afraid to really get in there and mess them all up. All right, I'm happy with how they look so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my balsamic vinegar and I'm just going to pour that straight over the top. Woo! Sizzle, sizzle. <laughs> Now I'm going to toss those in, really coating each Brussels sprout with the balsamic vinegar. This gives it such a nice flavor, but make sure you don't buy balsamic vinegar that has sugar added to it. That's a no-no, that is not keto friendly. So now I'm just gonna let those sit for a bit. Let that moisture really evaporate into the air so they stay nice and crispy. So we're gonna wait maybe about five more minutes and give them another toss through and then wait maybe two minutes and just see what happens. We're gonna really watch them and kind of play it by ear depending on how much moisture is in this pan. All right, so it's getting really smoky now so I'm going to turn my heat all the way down and just keep on tossing them around because you don't want them to sit too long and burn. Some little burnt bits are okay though. They do taste really good, but you don't want the whole Brussels sprout to be burnt to a crisp. All right. So I'm happy with how they look right now. They're nice and crispy. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put them in my bowl. So those little crispy bits that I was talking about, make sure you kind of scrape them off of the pan and put them in, they taste delicious. All right, 
We're just gonna put those to the side for now because we are going to toast our almonds. So don't turn the heat up, keep it very low. The pan is hot enough because almonds, they really toast very quickly. So we're just gonna pour those straight in. And go ahead and quickly start kind of tossing them around. You don't want them to sit for too long. So once they're a little golden brown color, maybe a medium brown color, that's when you know that they are done. You don't wanna leave them on for too long because they will burn and they're not tasty when they're burnt. So let's go ahead and take them off. I'm just going to put them directly into our Brussels sprouts. All right, so I have my bowl of Brussels sprouts here. Now I'm just going to take some flaky sea salt and sprinkle it on top. And done. There you have a delicious keto-friendly dish that you can take to any holiday gathering that you have and you know that you can eat because it's keto friendly. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like this video, comment on this video if you have any future video suggestions for me, and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos just like this one. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. See you later.